In our previous video, we have created a DAO and DTO for our specimen. And in this video, we are going to write a unit test against the interface that we have for our uh, specimen DAO. Now, I haven't written an implementation for this yet, but that's okay because we're going to practice some test first design. Uh, I'm going to make one change to the DAO. I'm going to have the save method throw a checked exception. Uh, it's a runtime exception, but I'm declaring it in the uh, string and the uh, method signature here. Um, search I'm not going to worry about, but save I will. And a possible condition for this exception is that uh, we've provided no data or invalid data, and therefore it cannot save. And this is one of the things that we want to test against. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test saving a populated object, and a, I will expect that to just return normally. And I'm going to also test saving an object that is populated with nothing. And that should throw an exception. So these are my, uh, these are my test criteria that I want to create for this. For the search, I'm going to pass in a search term of uh, Circus, which is the genus for a redbud. And I'm going to verify that I get back plants that have redbud in the common name. I'm also going to search with the name pawpaw, which is the common name for naturally pawpaw or Asimina triloba. And I'm going to verify that I do not get back red buds when I search for pawpaw. So that's the goal of my unit test. Now in Android Studio, our unit tests are in this place called Android Test. I'm going to create a new package so I can keep them uh, separate from other tests I've written before. And for that, I'll say, uh, nw15s305.plantplaces.com uh, dot test. Eh, that one's kind of weird, but okay, we'll go ahead and stick with that. We'll choose okay. Okay, and under test now, I'm going to say new Java class, and I'm going to say specimen DAO test or test specimen DAO, either one, and I choose okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say extends instrumentation test case. Okay. Now these tests are JUnit3 style, uh, which means we can have a setup method which runs before each test is run, and also a teardown method which runs after each test is run. We'll keep those at the beginning and the end respectively. At the moment, we don't have any setup or teardown we need to do, but we have them here if we need them. Now, also with JUnit style, uh, our methods have to begin with the word test. So I'll say public void test save valid object. Or let's say valid specimen. Open and close curly. Now, frequently in unit testing, we use a given when then syntax. This is called behavior driven design. So, given will set things up, when will change some conditions, and then then will run the tests. It's okay to call those methods from within our test method as long as our test method begins with this word test. So, I'll say given specimen is initialized with data. Okay, uh, then save specimen, or when, uh, when specimen is saved, and then we could say then verify no exception. Although the then part in this case, uh, we, might need, we might do this a different way. Uh, or we might just skip the win. Uh, we might just skip the win step. Let's do one at a time though. Given specimen is initialized with data. Okay. Uh, create the new method by holding Alt and pressing Enter. And I'm going to say uh, new specimen DTO. Okay. Terminate with the semicolon. Alt Enter to organize imports. Uh, Control Alt F. And that will create a field out of the specimen DTO. A field is, is a, a variable that's declared here within the class, but not within the method, so that we have scope. Uh, we're able to access this attribute in several different methods. Okay, we'll say specimen DTO. 
dot set description and we'll say maybe a test specimen okay specimen DTO dot set um, location okay test location and then we need to specify either the uh, plant uh, the plant GUID or the plant cash ID or both specimen DTO dot set plant GUID uh, we'll say 32 and let's make it 83 or 84 I know that one we'll make it 84 okay specimen DTO dot set plant cash ID so GUID is the uh, global identifier that uh, all plants have from plantplaces.com the cash ID is a local unique identifier in case we have not yet synchronized so set plant cash ID 100 okay now the nice part about this given when then syntax is we can reuse these given wins and thens across uh, several tests that's why we break it up this way when specimen is saved okay create method so I'm going to say okay well we need to initialize our actually uh, we need to initialize our specimen DAO that might be a good thing to do in our setup method so let's say a uh, new specimen DAO let's do this so let's do it a little different way private I specimen DAO specimen DAO okay in the setup method, okay, uh, uh, we will alt enter organize imports. Okay, in the setup method, we'll say uh, specimen DAO equals new specimen DAO stub. Now, a warning we haven't yet created that class, so that's going to remain red until we create that class. Okay, when specimen is saved, I'm going to say specimen DAO. And then I'm going to say save, and we're going to pass in the specimen DTO that we have created and initialized previously. Okay. Uh, now what I'll do, let's see, we get a red line here, unhandled exception. Okay, so I'm going to alt enter and surround with try catch. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, let's remember how exceptions work. If an exception is thrown from here, it's going to skip everything until it gets to the catch block. So if we're on this very next line, it's safe to say that the specimen has saved. So I'm going to say specimen has saved equals true. Uh, okay, but I haven't declared this variable specimen has saved. Alt enter, uh, create field specimen has saved. Okay. Now, if the exception is caught, we're going to say specimen has saved is false. So you see, all we're doing is testing whether we got an exception back or not. And this gives us enough information to complete our then verify no exception. Alt enter, create method, then verify no exception. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say assert true. And we're going to say specimen has saved. So assert true is one of the methods that we get from JUnit, and it simply says, is the Boolean value passed into uh, this method call? Is it true? If so, then the test passes. Okay. Uh, and you see that we're setting that here if the specimen saved correctly. We're setting it here if the specimen did not save correctly. Okay, and I save. We have several more tests to go, but for the sake of brevity, uh, I want to just make this test pass. Okay, so how do I make the test pass? Well, the first thing is, I need to create the specimen DAO stub. The stub in this case is simply a prototype. It's what we want our application to do. It's a prototype of what we want our application to do. Once we verify this test passes, with a prototype that returns known, but hard-coded data, then we can hook it up to live data and we can start to write our actual implementation out to that live data. So specimen DAO stub, I'm going to go to my DAO package, right-click, and I'm going to say new Java class, and I'm going to say specimen DAO stub, and I'm going to say OK, and yes, 
and we'll say implements iSpecimen DAO. Now by implementing that interface, we're under contract to provide an implementation for each of the methods. So I alt enter and I say implement methods, choose all, and it will put all of the methods from our um, from our interface into this stub. Okay. Now the save, we're not actually going to save anything. Remember, this is simply a hard-coded prototype. What I will do, though, is I'll just do a cursory inspection to make sure we either have a plant GUID or a plant cache ID. So I'm going to say if specimen DTO dot uh, sorry, uh, specimen's the name of my variable. So if specimen dot get plant cache ID equal equal zero in Java if we don't assign an int it will default to zero or specimen dot get plant GUID equal equal zero and actually that should be an and because we said the only one of them needs to be set then we're gonna say throw new exception and we'll say uh, in the text here, we'll say a plant is not associated with this specimen. Please select a plant. What we would likely do with this exception, first of all, if this were a real program, we might make our own subclass of exception, so we're not just throwing back a general runtime exception. But what we would likely do is tell the user um, if we take a look at our actual device here just a moment, we would likely tell the user, hey, you haven't picked anything from the plant name field. Please pick something, because to have a specimen, I have to have a plant first, and you have left the plant name field blank. Now, obviously, we'll say it in less words than that, but that's what we would tell a user. We might just pop up a warning that says, hey, you can't save until you've uh, selected a plant. And this is what we're considering a, uh, an exceptional condition. So at this point, we're saying, if we have a plant ID, we will save without exception. If we do not have a plant ID, we will throw an exception. And so I save this new class, I go back to my test. Now, because I have created this stub, I can alt enter and I can import it. And you see now our test uh, is valid. Uh, well, it may not be valid, but at least uh, the, the test class can run. Next, what we need to do is we need to create a uh, kind of like a test runner for this. So in Android Studio, I'm going to go to run and I'm going to choose edit configurations. Under edit configurations, I'm going to select Android tests and I'm going to choose the plus. I'm going to click on Android tests and I'm going to say all in package. Okay, the package. Remember that package that I made earlier? Whoops, okay, module, uh, one moment, app. Okay, package. And we had uh, NW plant places com and then test. If you recall, that's where we put our test case earlier. So I choose okay. Uh, I'm gonna say show chooser dialog, that's fine. Uh, name, I'm gonna call this one maybe DAO tests, or let's say all tests doesn't matter because we will add more tests to this as we progress um, at this point I think we're in good shape specific implement instrumentation runner I think we're good there I choose apply and I choose OK and now if you take a look up in our drop-down uh, we have all tests as a new option that we can run so I select all tests and now I'm going to choose run. I could choose debug, but I'll go ahead and choose run. And now we're going to look for some results. At the bottom of my screen, you'll see that Gradle is running, uh, executing tasks. This might take just a moment, so I'll pause the recording as we wait. It asks for a running device. I'm going to go ahead and choose the emulator I already have running, just to save a little bit of time. And you see now it's uh, running the test. And we see test results OK, running tests. I go to the event log and we see tests passed. Now, just to verify that our tests were written correctly and our test actually did run, I'm gonna force it to fail. Uh, I'm gonna say specimen has saved is false in both cases. 
This way we can verify that it is actually running this test. So I choose save. Once again, I press play and we'll let it go. Choose my emulator again. And sure enough, we see test failed. Now I forced it to fail because I, I lied. I said specimen has saved equals false when we know it actually would have saved. But I wanted to show you test results, test save valid specimen. It's telling us that this has failed. Over here, it tells us that it has failed as well. Okay. Assertion failed error. Let me give us a little bit more room here. JUnit assertion failed error, and it, and it tells us here that the error has failed in this test save valid specimen method. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset this back, and I'm going to change it to what we want, which is no exception as long as... Uh, we're passing in a valid specimen. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, but in the next video, we're going to write three more tests and we're going to keep them all together in this specimen T DAO test class. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.